just find it. Hey guys, what is going on, motherfuckers? Welcome back to the Seriously Motherfucking Badass Show. Where the fuck have you been? Hey, I got a... Uh, oh shit, where's my fucking phone? I got a letter from the postman. No, I got a letter from YouTube. And it says... Got a good question. Uh, it says, hey... Can you uh, please uh, play the piano on Sample Tank 4 one more time and mess up the velocity curve? And I think Alec there had a valid idea. It's a good idea. So, today, for you, we're going to play with the velocity curve. Okay, here we go. This, uh, hey, did you hear that? Native Instruments is laying off 20% of their workforce. Yeah, bummer. Anyways, uh, this is the uh, matrix for uh, Sample Tank 4, as you see here. And unlike other uh, velocity curves that have something like this right here, and you just pick one of four or five, you just have this here, you have just this dial. And you can just get the dial like this. you get about right here on these <coughs> cheap pianos like this this stupid c7 um, starts to sound kind of tinny I don't want to bring it down Sorry. sounds actually those cheap pianos sound better with a little bit of a negative velocity Anyways, you know what pisses me off about these pianos where we're on the topic and the collection in general is just the simple fact that they, I think purposely, uh, decided not to tell you what was new and what was old. Let's just mix it all in. And that way people don't know what they paid for. I would love, from the bottom of my heart, to know what my hard-earned money bought me in the way of pianos new pianos because they brag about their new fucking pianos that they have added meticulously sampled in studios from around the world italy all these all this bullshit um and they don't even they're so proud of them but they don't bother listing any of them in fact most of the pianos i mean i don't know is that new it could be but i don't know because like that doesn't say it's new or old and that I know it's old because I have this collection but I did find one down here that's huge I'm gonna load it close mic natural grand So let's just get the job done that we're here to do. This is the, uh, and we already went through that. So what we're going to do, <laughs> if you guys were looking, if you've been watching, welcome, by the way, subscribers, old and new, uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> welcome. I'm, I'm glad you're glad that I'm glad you're here and you're happy to be here. And you're willing to uh, put up with this shit. Shit. This shit. This shit right here. Uh, did I tell you that NI laid off 20% of their workforce? I used to work for them. That's why I'm doing... No. Um, this is the prolifony. I was just barking about this when I was playing the EPs. This has really nice EPs, by the way. Sample Tank 4. It does. It does. It's a blight in here. Um, so... What I have found on this particular model of piano is to get a fine temperament. You want to put your velocity curve about right at one, 100, about, yeah, right there. And it opens it up rather nicely.
It starts to feel good in your hand right there. So Alec, a really good idea. Um, I'll tell you what I've learned because this is I've been messing around with it and I failed many times making this video. I'm not going to talk about it. But what I've learned is that the older X, the stupid older ones that they're not that legacy collection does not sound so good as I displayed earlier on the higher velocities. In fact, you want to turn the velocity down so it doesn't sound so fucking tinny. But on these larger samples, obviously cared for much more. Okay. Uh, the can in fact if you look it can it can still resist a nice little velocity. Look at that. Instead of getting all tinny, you actually start to hear nuances, more nuances. Look at that. It reveals itself rather than just collapsing. Anyways, enough of uh, trying to do some little Floyd S bullshit there. This is the velocity curve, folks, and yes, you can make your piano sound a little bit better. Thank you, Alec, for pointing that out, and it has been a pleasure pointing it out to you all. This is Wirecat. <laughs>